up you guys, Shortimus Prime here, checking out MarvelousNews.com, seeing that we got some big Marvel Legends news that Hasbro has announced the 2014 San Diego Comic Con exclusive set for Marvel Legends. This is called the Thanos Imperative set. I'm really excited about this, man. Uh, we're getting Medusa, Black Bolt, uh, Star Lord, Gladiator, and Blast Star. The set's gonna cost a hundred bucks. I don't think that's too bad. We're getting five figures, so that's not too bad at all to me, man. And this packaging, this packaging looks shaped the same way as the Thunderbolt set. It's got that coffin kind of shape to it. Could be a little different, but it seems to have the same shape. And the look and design of it is based off of the Galactus engine. And then looking at the inside of the packaging, it looks like Blastar is hidden. I don't see him in there at all, so he's probably just at the very bottom in that packaging over there. Who knows? But anyway, let's take a closer look at these images. We get Medusa over here, which I'm very excited about. A Medusa figure is awesome. I think her hair looks like it's going to be really, really cool. It doesn't look like it's going to be poseable at all. I guess some people could say it could be longer, but I think it looks pretty awesome the way it looks over there. It seems like they have some pretty nice shading on it and everything. And it looks like they're using the Moonstone body mold, just looking at the thickness of those thighs. I think I see a Moonstone body mold. Uh, and also looking at those hip joints. So that looks like it's going to be pretty nice. The one I'm really pumped about is Black Bolt, though. They're using the Bucky Cap mold. Totally redone. The first one from the Nemesis Wave was a huge disappointment. This one looks so much cooler, so much better. I'm really pumped about this. I don't mind that they nixed the fabric. The His little wing band things right there for his armpits are kind of looking a little weird sticking backwards like that. But with the disappointment that we got with the fabric, I don't mind. I think this is a great choice. I'm really pumped about this. And then we get Star-Lord using the Aim Soldier body mold. Well, originally used from the Star-Lord body mold. It's just that Star-Lord's being released second. This looks incredible. Comic version Star-Lord. I think that looks so awesome. I'm really, really pumped for that. The one I am most excited about, though, is Gladiator. Oh my goodness, man. How long have we all been wa wanting a Gladiator figure? This looks so badass. They're using the Hyperion body mold. I think that's great. The paint applications look really, really shiny. Looks very, very cool. I'm really digging this figure. I, I hope you can tilt his head all the way back up. It looks like you're going to be able to. I'm pumped for this one the most. And then lastly, Blast Star. Reusing the Avengers Hulk body mold and I don't really have a problem with that. It looks like there's so many added pieces on this thing that it's almost a completely different figure but I do recognize that upper torso and the arms from being the Avengers Hulk figure. I think this looks great man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to pick up the San Diego Comic Con set? I definitely have to man. I'm really really pumped for this. I hope you guys like this update and check out MarvelousNews.com for all the latest in Marvel related news. I'll catch you later. Peace.